Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Bloodhound. Before we begin, please remember to like and share our video if you find it useful. Please subscribe to receive notifications when we publish new dog-related content. Bloodhound History the Bloodhound also known as the Street Hubert Hound is an ancient breed that was developed in Belgium. They are thought to be named after their taste for blood, however this is a popular misconception. Bloodhounds are, in reality, highly non-violent, the name is derived from the very high degree of breeding that went into their creation. During the Civil War, when they were depicted as vicious beasts in Harriet Beecher Stowe's novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin, their numbers declined. Bloodhounds are renowned for their keen sense of smell and their unparalleled tracking abilities. They're very good at tracking people and animals, even over great distances. They're often used by police departments and law enforcement agencies as scent hounds to track missing people and suspects. In fact, if a bloodhound has trailed someone, the evidence will usually hold up in court. As always, the pros are up first. Affectionate. These dogs are recognized for their kind and gentle nature, which makes them even more desirable by people. They treat their owners with a lot of affection and friendly towards their owners. Tracker, these canines are well known as tracker dogs, and were used in earlier times to track down people as well as hunt deer and wild boar. This breed gets along nicely with children and accepts about anything they do, including having their ears pulled. It enjoys being noticed by its family and gets along well with other animals. Now it's time for some cons. Clumsy. These dogs are clumsy, and owning them can be problematic at times because they can easily create chaos around the house. These canines are usually only ideal for physically fit people who are capable of handling huge dogs and their associated energy. Stubborn. This breed is obstinate, and it can be difficult for owners to keep them under control at times. Bloodhound follow smell even when walking on the street, therefore owners must be able to keep a firm grip on this large dog. They drool a lot, which might be a problem for homeowners who like to keep their house clean. Barking, bloodhounds are loud dogs that enjoy the sound of their own voices. Bloodhounds aren't meant to live in apartments. This big dog requires a lot of space, so a country home with a nice fenced yard is ideal. They might be dangerous around smaller kids, as they can knock a toddler over with a simple swipe of their tail. As a result, these canines are better suited to families with older children. They are good family dogs, but they can be challenging to care for, therefore they are not suggested for first-time dog owners. Due to the fact that bloodhounds are not hypoallergenic, they may not be suitable for allergy sufferers. Interesting Facts A typical bloodhound's nose contains 230 million scent receptors, which is around 40 times more than a human's. They can follow a scent for more than 130 miles once they've detected it, despite all other odors they come across. Their sense of smell is so acute that they can detect and follow a scent trail up to 300 hours after the source has left the area, that's a 12-day-old smell. Nick Carter, a real-life super detective, is one of the most famous bloodhounds. Nick, who was born in 1900, discovered almost 650 people including one who had been on the trail for 12 days. They are used by police and law enforcement all over the world to track escaped prisoners, missing people and lost pets. Tigger the Bloodhound has the world record for the longest ears on a dog, measuring 34.9 cm for the right and 34.2 cm for the left respectively. Mickey Mouse's companion, Pluto, is a mixed-breed dog that was inspired by a pair of bloodhounds from the Chain Gang, 1930. Before his own series was released in 1937, Pluto appeared in 24 Mickey Mouse films. They enjoy chewing on everything that look interesting, such as rocks, batteries, toys, furniture, remote controller, etc. Appearance The head of a bloodhound is long and narrow, with long, sweeping ears, strong, muscular legs, a massive body and long tail. The skin of the face is wrinkled, and the skin on the neck and loose skin on the neck and throat. Bloodhounds weigh between 90 and 110 pounds and stand between 25 and 27 inches tall. Females usually weigh between 80 and 100 pounds and stand a bit shorter at around 23 to 25 inches. 
they typically gain the majority of their weight around the age of 8 months and majority of their growth occurs between 4 to 8 months. Bloodhounds, on the other hand, may continue to gain muscle until they are roughly 2 years old. They have short coats that come in three recognized colors. These are, black and tan, liver and tan, and red. Liver and tan dogs have lighter eyes and are less common. The black and tan variation is the most popular and recognized color. White flecks can form in the black areas of their coat, giving them a badger-like appearance. The average lifespan of Bloodhound is 10 to 12 years. Grooming They're loose, diamond-shaped eyes are prone to catching dirt and becoming infected. Keeping your dog's eyes clean is as simple as wiping them with a cotton makeup remover wipe every day. Although many people think wrinkly skin looks cute, it is actually a recipe for catastrophe in dogs. If you have a wrinkled dog, it's critical to maintain these areas clean and make them a part of your regular routine. Regular baths are required for these dogs, as they can quickly develop a doggy odor. Brush your dog's teeth and trim their nails on a regular basis, as with all breeds. Shedding Bloodhounds have a moderate to high level of shedding. However, the shedding occurs just once or twice a year, in the spring and fall. Because their coat is short and dense, a bristle brush or rubber hound glove can help you in grooming and shedding. Weekly brushing is recommended for hounds to promote new hair growth and to distribute skin oils throughout their coat, which keep it healthy. Cost On average a bloodhound puppy will cost $750 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $450 and $1,200. Professional training for a bloodhound is usually advised, group training and should cost around $150 to $200. Adoption is the most cost-effective option, with costs ranging from $200 to $400. The average price of a bloodhound puppy in India is around 80,000 to 150,000 rupees. It varies due to the breeder's reputation, location, and the dog's pedigree, age, and gender. Exercise and trainability. To stay fit and happy, these dogs require about two hours of daily physical activity. The Bloodhound requires frequent exercise, which usually consists of leashed walks and some scent games. While most hound dogs love treat-based training, it can be very difficult to teach off-leash obedience or polite leash walking manners. This breed requires early training and socialization to avoid becoming accustomed to their habits. They react well to gentle, reward-based methods to keep their focus and motivation high. Because they are intelligent, many people believe they are simple to train. Due to their stubborn character, it takes a long time and patience to get them to start doing it. This breed doesn't fare well off-leash, since they easily get carried away by their noses. Intelligence, according to the Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Corin, Bloodhound is ranked 74. Understanding of new commands 100 to 500 repetitions and obeys first command 20% of the time or better. Swimming. Bloodhounds can swim, but they're not excellent swimmers like water breeds. Some of them will enjoy wading into shallow water to play or cool down a hot day. The major challenges to becoming good swimmers are their body structure and behaviors. Training, positive reinforcement, patience, perseverance, consistency, and other proven tactics can be proper solutions. Barking Bloodhounds aren't known for their barking. They can make melodious tunes when baying, howling, and whining. A bay is a unique deep chest sound made by bloodhounds. Most don't bark, but if they smell anything interesting in the air, they'll chirp with a roo. Weather and climate. Bloodhounds are also noted for their ability to cope with harsh conditions. Because they have a light coat, they can usually handle hot conditions. Their coats and thick skin help keep them warm in the winter, most healthy adult bloodhound enjoy being outside in the winter and can tolerate temperatures as low as 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Young puppies and elderly dogs are more susceptible to the cold and should not be exposed to freezing temperatures. Friendliness Bloodhounds are recognized for being extremely affectionate and caring, and are especially great with children. They are also patient, allowing young children to climb and get all over them. They get along well with other dogs and even some cats if they are raised around them. 
they get along fine with other dogs in the house. Because they are pack animals, they prefer to be among other dogs and people. Adaptability Apartment living is not recommended for bloodhounds. They prefer to live in a house with a wide fenced yard. If provided enough exercise and their basic requirements are satisfied, they can be well-mannered in an apartment. The bloodhound is not recommended for first-time dog owners. Their insatiable desire to sniff and their loud bark aren't well suited for impatient owners. The bloodhound, on the other hand, is unparalleled for owners interested in scent work, tracking sports, search and rescue or other uses of a dog's nose. Guard slash watch dog. Some hounds will bark as strangers approach the house, while others may let them in unannounced, making them unreliable watch dogs. They aren't natural guard dogs because they aren't being territorial or protective. Drooling. Drooling is common in bloodhound dogs. They are known as slobberhounds because they are one of the most slobbery breeds. Because of their deep lips, which hold a lot of saliva, they are known for spreading long lines of drool everywhere. A bloodhound's large muzzle allows him to turn his head and slobber as far as 20 feet. Health issues. The common health problems that bloodhounds suffer from include hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, bloating, heart conditions, and eye conditions. Hip dysplasia, an inherited condition in which the thigh bone doesn't fit into the hip joint. Ectropion, a condition in which the eyelid rolls out or sags, exposing the eye to irritation and infection. Entropion, the eyelid rolls inward due to this anomaly, hurting or damaging the eyeball. Can be observed when dog reach the age of six months. Bloat this occurs when the stomach is filled with gas or air and twists. Preventing the dog from vomiting to expel the excess air, causing blood supply to the heart to be disrupted. Have you had any experience with Bloodhound? In the comment section below, we'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future video.